thank you okay so aditi not taking a lot of time uh, please let me know that how does it feel to be a part of adobe uh, in one word uh, i can't explain that how i feel but it's it feels overwhelming i am very overwhelmed to be a part of a institution of a company uh, which uh, which is a dream of many students like me right. and coming from a tier 3 college it becomes more important and a more major issue as well so it feels so good and the response i am having uh, from the messages the calls that i am receiving it's all overwhelming as well great to know that so let us start the question which every student have in their mind you are a fresher right so you are in your final year student you are from computer science background aditi can you tell me step by step that if any student would like to be a part of this company what is the process and how did you approach toward this Uh, firstly uh, we were told that there is a off campus drive uh, which was basically for the female candidates that is named as adobe she codes program mm -hmm. and it was happening so i applied to that off campus and the first round was that the uh, they have to they have to do the academically on the percentage of our 10th and 12th so they filtered out the students according to their percentage 10 plus 2 and after there were two tests. the first is computer fundamentals aptitude verbal and two coding questions were there and there was one enhancement into the second test that was the gamified assessment mm -hmm. the students that cleared the first test uh, went forward and we gave the second test as well after we gave the second test and got selected into that we were told to give our cv to the company mm -hmm. and they mailed us that if we if our cv gets selected we will be called up for the interview okay. and luckily i called up for the i got called up for the interview and as i remembered it appropriately on 1st of december mm -hmm. i gave my interview and two days after i got selected i got a mail that i have been selected as a product Print on for Adobe for the year 2022. Great. So there are a few other, you know, sub questions which I would like to ask as you talk about the eligibility criteria. So it meant 60 percent throughout, like in your 10th and 12th, right? Yes, it was not very official that it is sixty percent. They just mm -hmm. told us that they will figure it out according to our percentage. We just had to give our percentages. Okay. Now again, you told about uh, you know uh, the uh, phases of interview, like you had your aptitude and verbal communication. So, can you tell me what was the duration of overall, uh, you know, the selection process? If you talk about and was there multiple choice questions? What qu kind of questions were there? Yes, the aptitude questions, computer fundamental, verbal uh, ability questions, they were all MCQ rounds, and uh, combinedly with the uh, coding test questions, they uh, it was two and uh, two and a half hours test, and it got extended half an hour when I gave the second test uh, that includes the gamified assessment. And it's to be understood that overall process was online, right? Yes. it was virtual completely virtual completely virtual now comes very important questions students would be asking that aditi can you share what coding questions or what kind of questions were shared not all the questions but can you give an idea that being from computer science background what are the things which a student should take care of while he or she is in his engineering the main coding question uh, topics that i observed were of trees arrays and strings Mm -hmm. uh, based uh, the two questions that i was given uh, was of air one of one was of array and the second one was of trees so data structure is a part uh, in which you should be very 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 good because data structures database management systems and double opm are some of the four subjects that every computer science student should be good at okay so aditi do you consider or will you call yourself studious hard working or someone who was very focused and knew what is your target uh, i'll call myself hard working and uh, lucky in some sense as i think that i was destined to be a part of adobe so that's why the opportunities came to me <laughs> one by one and i grabbed it in the in right time So Aditi, what were the other companies which uh, you cracked the interviews for? Uh, 
or adobe is your first one yes adobe oh. was my first company that uh, i gave interview for uh, in my whole uh, journey till now i only gave one interview and that was and for and that adobe. was like a bumper dhamaka yes. for you and sounds I good yes. good good aditi i can see that happiness on your face now another very important question which definitely i feel like will come in the comment box you told that your cv was selected yes. right anything which you would like to mention which you highlighted in your cv or any student because i do give sessions on how to create a resume as a fresher how do aditi feel a resume should be so that it could be shortlisted um what i think that my cv was simple mm -hmm. i was not bold or uh, i i would say that some students write many of the things in uh, into the cv that it gets difficult to figure that out right i wrote um, limited things and that i was assured of that i can give answers mm -hmm. so, so that did you highlight that so did you talk more about your certifications if you did any or the courses Uh, I didn't have many certification and courses because I studied from YouTube and mm -hmm. geeks for geeks. That was my focus, and uh, almost whatever I studied, that everything is available on internet. Mm -hmm. And internet uh, was the best thing. And I studied from there, so that's why I don't have many certifications, licenses. Because uh, I only had one certification that was for my Python and C C plus plus programming. Apart from that, everything I studied was from YouTube. and uh, the google search only okay great it sounds great i think everybody should keep this in mind that it's not necessary that you have to pay hefty amount you know to clear any exam or to do coaching for now aditi another very important question is can you share few of the questions were there any kind of hr around which you faced and if yes what were the questions they asked to you uh, no actually there was no round the technical hr round was combined i guess into okay. my interview round and mm -hmm. i got selected after one technical round only so okay. the uh, interview round consists of mostly of the technical questions and after that it ended up on what are my expectations if i join company and if i have any other questions in my mind that i want to ask so aditi was there any question in your mind which you asked because many a time student do you know they don't ask anything they are so happy and elated at that moment of time they say no sir i'm happy so were there any questions in your mind which you asked uh, i was elated as well but as adobe is a company which is known for its work culture Right. so i was very keen to ask them about what uh, more about the work culture of the company and what will I think that I will be contribute uh, for the company. That was a very relevant questions, Aditi, which you asked about. Now you have already told about the selection process. Can you tell me something about your roles, roles and responsibilities as an intern over Adobe? Yeah, um, I was given a project that I had to made from scratch. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I can't discuss the project yes, as right. it's against the company's right, policy. Right, very right. But it it was uh, on the technology, machine learning, and AI. So I was very new to ML and AI. I didn't work on that earlier. So I studied about that and made that project in mm -hmm. progress. And till the end of my uh, internship, I was able to complete that project as well. Great. So how also, much? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Sorry to interrupt. Also. no problem sorry uh, also my daily roles and responsibilities included uh, talking to my mentor and my uh, mentor discussing what are the doubts that i am having my mentor was so good he helped me uh, throughout the internship and made it very easier for me as well great so aditi is it more like everybody knows that internship when you are an intern you get to learn a lot from your mentor but what kind of you know did you had any pressure while you were doing your internship that is uh, something that i want to tell that i 
didn't feel any pressure. I was very happy to work into the company that it was a teary feeling on the last day. I didn't want that to stop. I wanted the internship to continue as uh, I became very familiar with uh, with my team and my team was very fab uh, that uh, there was no pressure for me. Okay. So anything else about from the questions which I asked you other people ask you for an example you must be having uh, so many friends and students from different colleges who are in their final or pre final year they must have asked you know so many questions what questions do you feel are relevant and can we talk about those questions and answers uh, yes uh, one of the most uh, very common questions that i get asked is what are the projects that you have done in your mm -hmm. four years that was asked into your interview okay. so i was asked uh, about my projects that i have done in uh, my period of three years in college mm -hmm. so i told them about that project uh, i didn't do many projects like i said that i did mm -hmm. one project of my minor in college mm -hmm. and i explained it to them and my interviewer went it to uh, uh, an hypothetical zone she gave me some of the questions that what if we do this or what will be its outcome so we discussed it all uh, i told her what is my project i explained her and i think that was the key point uh, where i impressed her uh, with my answers because the answers were relevant but at the same time the uh, questions were not from uh, uh, the questions were not something i should be no okay i didn't know about so those were the unexpected then, questions but because you did your project with whole your heart and soul you were able to answer those questions and i think that was the uh, mark point good so yes. aditi any other questions any other thing or do you feel that along with the technical skills communication skills did play an important role Uh, in my personal opinion communication skills are very important because one uh, has a knowledge one has evident knowledge but he or she doesn't know how to convey it that is a very major issue because uh, some students along uh, the springs that i have they are studying with me right now they have the less communication skills than me not very for uh, the not very better that uh, than i have as mm -hmm. i al also have to improve very much but mm -hmm. also less than me. but uh, in that case it becomes difficult to convey what you are thinking in your mind to the interviewer right. so it becomes difficult at that point also um, it is very obvious every that interviewer asks we don't know every answer from that So at that point, how you overcome with the question? At that point, that you don't know about this topic. Mm -hmm. So communication skills play a part at that time. Okay. That how you are answering mm -hmm. that. So most of the times, Aditi, there are many companies they don't have to do anything uh, while you know. not i'm not talking about the communication skill i'm talking about the language language is a barrier for an example many students will ask that aditi was though there was no hr round it was a mix of tr and hr right so is all questions are all questions asked in english language i know the answer is yes but yes most of the students do ask ki ma'am interview hindi mein hota hai ki english mein hota hai mera technical bahut acha hai par mujhe english nahi aati hai so what would be your advice for those students practice communication skills that is very important because the interviewer will always ask the questions in english and whether you have a good technical knowledge or not your impression gets uh, in front of the you know when you start speaks into started start speaks into english uh, whether you are not very good at it you are poor you are intermediate but at least try to speak that shows that you are a hard working person and you want to uh, get better in future as well Now Aditi I want an honest answer from you so the question is what makes you really happy the company or the package which has been provided by the company obviously uh, both of them will make you super happy but what according to you was most important for you uh, 
uh, I would say the company because uh, on the base it was both. Mm-hmm. But as it is a really good company, it will give me more opportunities in future as well. Mm-hmm. From where I am seeing myself right now, I have a tremendous opportunities open in front of myself because of my selection in Adobe. So the company is what uh, helping me get forward as well. So okay. I would say company. So Aditi is not going to try for any other company now. She would stick no. to this company. Yes, <laughs> I am very happy. Okay, so many of us don't have an idea what a product-based company looks like. Many of the students, being from CSIT background, still struggle to know the difference. Can Aditi tell me a few of the differences between a product-based company and a service-based company, and why Aditi preferred a product-based company? Uh, major uh, difference that uh, I think is uh, on a product-based company, we particularly work on a some software or the some specialization that uh, com- that company hold that the patent uh, about which that company hold mm-hmm. so that becomes a very attractive part as you are working on a product that thousand or millions of people are uh, using right now mm-hmm. so th- uh, this is a very attractive part although i didn't uh, get chance to work on a product i worked on a different project but mm-hmm. uh, i'll be working in future hopefully so that is an attractive part as well and uh, at last the package <laughs> the product based companies obviously gives more yeah so would aditi like to disclose about the package though i have already uh, you know disclosed it on the uh, what we say the thumbnail but would aditi like to go forward and talk about what package she is getting from this company Uh, my package is forty point seven LTA, and I am very happy and proud to say it as this is my <laughs> achievement, and uh, I am so happy about it. Same here, Aditi. It has been, uh, you know. Uh... very nice talking to you and there are few reasons to it it's not only because of the interview i do find you as a very compatible person like who is ready with each and every answer if there is any questions aditi do have a positive approach and she replies and i think this played a vital role and you have been a part of this you know renowned company last but not the least anything which you would like to put up from your end for the viewers for your friends or students who would like you know who are on going journey of placements um, i just want to say that work hard because uh, from now on years when you will look back uh, you should not regret that what you did when i look back from from, uh, from now uh, for now the years that went by uh, i have no regrets that why i chose engineering why i got, got entered into a tier 3 college why i sele- uh, got selected uh, i selected the cs department i have no regrets about it i am very happy uh, from what i did and from where i am now so just keep hard Thank you so much, Aditi, for being here on the platform of Fresh Learning Academy and sharing your experiences. I know there would be many questions which would be coming up in comment section. I would just request you, in case you find out some time from your busy schedule, just try to reply to those questions because there are many students. they who who are not aware about the processes they are just misguided because there are so many platforms they have their different opinions and that was the reason i thought to invite you because when you yourself will speak you know what was your experience it would be more beneficial so thank you once again aditi and congratulations i wish you all the success ahead thank you so much thank you so much thank you for having me here thank you